technical difficulty, and then the train is back up and running. Um, we're already, already <coughs> through several minutes of two and a half minutes here, and we're just watching the race here start as they go. Uh, Code Lane here just finally uh, careful, uh, on my road, just in my in sort of standard lanes right now so far. Nothing crazy yeah. going on. see already a small CSV here going to finish here, a few CS here and there, but the gold lead already going to two to three hundred gold ahead. Uh, Lane didn't even um, go off the field there, though. Um, Jungler with both postures here on the bot side, looking to see what they can do with Zach Moves into that river right now, taking the scuttle crab. And we have Jarvan here just going for his golems. Um, and somebody's pinging out their... Grump, but we actually see Zach just here, right here in the river. Both teams can see him. Um, just totally taking that, getting his level four, looking to see where he can gank, being totally spotted out, and deciding that it's actually better to be with both lanes pushed up to the middle. And in uh, bot lane right now, we just see the lane pushing. All the lanes are just farming pretty consistently right now. Um, Jarvin is also going back, so no ganks right now for this early half of the game. Ergot just going uh, a little bit hard onto. Um, and just trading onto him, but he actually has to flash to live. Both of them barely getting away with any HP in the top lane. Uh, Urgot and Tunnel just uh, smashing each other. Um, no real help from either jungler right now, but we see that Zach is topside and Jarvan is currently moving. Um, but just going to be, should be okay. Flash still up for Trundle in that top lane, so he has a slight advantage now going in uh, past this five minute mark. Um, Urgot's only escape being his little uh, scuttle hop, so we'll have to see if he's able to stay safe now with Zach on the top lane. Trundle going to be in the top lane as well, uh, just to make sure that he can have lots of health, and Jarvan just making sure that Urgot is safe right now, knowing that Zach is on the top side after killing his bot side jungle and taking that river scuttle there. Ward's going down uh, for Saints Gaming here, keeping that safe top side safe. And as well as in the try right here, um, just making sure that they're A-OK. -okay. Malzahar deciding to actually stay in the mid lane, uh, hitting level 6 before Velkaz has a chance. And Velkaz actually just hitting that level 6 right as I said that. Um, but definitely interested right now to see if uh, Zach can get in there. And Urgot just once again training with Trundle. Being able to get a little bit of poke on him, having the advantage of level 6 right now. Urgot playing a little safe because of it. And just some more poke with that range. One of the disadvantages we talked about when they picked uh, Trendle instead of something like, say, a Nar. Uh, no real uh, way to jump ri on him. Hard to mute it. Well.
and we see actually right now the huge advantage of Tristana in that early game. Putting that explosive charge on the tower, already taking the tower down to half at 7 minutes and 40 seconds in the game. And uh, just the, the CS advantage to be able to push that lane and denying the CS from Ape Snipe. Um, and just being really safe right now in this bot lane, actually getting an advantage over uh, Red Side. Um, slimming that gold lead down by 100. Oh, actually, yeah, they're slimming that gold lead all the way down. Actually taking an advantage right now by 100 gold. Still anyone's game. Nothing's happened uh, right now. The only summoner down right now are the TPs and the flash for top lane. And it looks like Zach's on the bot side. So it looks like top's going to be safe for a while. And we just see mid lane just constantly pushing against each other, not allowing each other to roam or anything like that. Um, just a really standard farm game right now. Both teams looking for their opportunity to open up this game. I feel now that the uh, junglers are hitting their level 6. Um, they're going to be looking to be a little more aggressive in uh, what we're going into the mid game shortly. Um, Zach already 6, grabbing his red buff. Um, he's going to be in a perfect opportunity to gank either mid or top right after this. And we actually see Jarvan going top right now with Urgot tossing this guy over, coming over, flashing right onto him right away, uh, throwing out that ulti. Um, and we just see um, Urgot now finally flashing, but the ultimate already on to him from Urgot, and Urgot just being able to suck him in. It going in on bot lane, and we actually see a beautiful knockup by Alistair right there, getting the two-man knockup, making Tristana jump away, the ultimate uh, locking them down, but just not long enough for Ape Snipe to get the damage to kill them, but really being able to put a lot of damage, gain control over this lane. Tristana right here playing a little bit aggressive with her range over Varus. And we finally see some of the first kills coming into the game. We actually see Zach right now posturing mid lane, looking for that gank onto Velkaz. And we see the pink ward from Mal's right here in the in the mid lane. And uh, he's completely safe. Drops the ward. Uh, the ward is, I don't believe the ward was seen by Velkaz, but he's being a little careful. He feels that the, the gank is coming. And we see Zach charge up, and he's going to try to go over for the gank right now. He goes on. Um, the E is perfect onto... Valkaz, but unfortunately the flash saves the day, bringing that down. Really good gank by Zach right there, waiting for the perfect opportunity the minions to move up. We actually see that Malzahar switched his flash for a ghost, which is a little uncommon just because now he can't get that surprise factor ultimate on top of his target. And we see just a small CS lead start to kind of build in the bot lane with uh, apes losing out on about 20 CS. Um, but all the other lanes kind of making up for it as well as that first blood bringing in a lot of gold for Saints Gaming right now at 10 minutes um, Both tur all the turrets are pretty much healthy except for bot lane uh, for Saints Gaming already below quarter health um, just one if Tristan just gets a few seconds left with that turret that turret is going to go down and we just saw Alistair finishing his quest grabbing those free wards um going to be able to keep them a little bit safe, but we already see Zachary here posturing on the bot side, and Jarvan actually coming for the camming game. And, uh, it looks like they don't have any vision of this, and he goes in, grabs the uh, Alistair, brings him over. Alistair pretty safe right now, still has his ultimate up, isn't proccing it, but everyone is TPing down into this fight, we got a giant fight right now, and we get Urgot just pulling somebody in, fearing the actual teleport right away. Malzahar coming in, but not able to get an ultimate on anybody. The silence is going down, but uh, the fight has already been disengaged. And we see Valkaz coming in here. He's going to make it a 5v4 with uh, Braum already dead. Everyone's still just posturing around bot lane, looking to see if there's an opportunity. Zach a little bit low right now. No flash, no ultimate. And uh, we just have Saints Gaming going back into that mid lane, keeping it safe. Um, and hopefully Saints Gaming here is going to be able to protect their turret from this push. It doesn't seem like the red team is very interested in forcing this turret right now in a 5v4 situation. Both kills on Nurgard right now, though, giving him an, a slight advantage in that top lane against Trundle. Um, Trundle building a lot of armor, not having a lot of damage right now to trade back with, but it should be really hard for Urgot to poke out in that top lane.
and we see uh, Alistair going here right in the bot lane, getting his WQ combo into his stun right there, but not being able to lock them down. Um, we don't have ultimate onto Varus, so he's not able to lock them down, but just able to poke. We have Vodkaz coming up. Alistair's cooldown should be up shortly, and they are, and he's able to get the Q, but Braum flashes and actually uses that momentum to push him closer to the turret. Malzahar, I'm sorry. Velka is going in there often right now, trying to get onto the Tristana, but Tristana flashing away before the true damage can really proc. And just all around the map, we have Dragon going in the mid lane right now, just proccing the shield, not committing to the fight with Malzahar, but definitely getting him away from that turret. Mazahar actually switching back to the flash um, to hopefully get an, an ultimate to get a kill over for his team. They're not behind too far right now, only a thousand gold over both turrets uh, for teams, all the turrets for both teams still standing. First turret going to be able to give an advantage over. And we actually see Valkaz roaming into the top. Another ultimate from Urgot just killing uh, Trundle for the second time already. And Zach kind to come in right now, trying to get on to uh, 8, but 8 just barely living right now. Using his ultimate to try to lock down Tristana. Throwing damage on Tristana, and it actually looks almost like he's going to get the kill. But Brom's shield just saving Tristana's life right there. And a really good play right there by Saints Gaming, using their summoners to keep themselves alive. Zach there, not repeating gang lanes um, without um, their flashes, so he's unable to get a kill committed there. And Alistair's ultimate just making him so tanky in those situations where he's just not able to dive for those five to seven seconds while it's propped. Top lane and bot lane turret going down for red side here. And the gold lead suddenly exploding to that four grand. We can see that a lot of that gold centered on that top lane. 2,000 gold differential right now with top and with Urgot and Trundle. And then we see a 1,000 gold in the jungle and a few hundred gold here and there for the rest of the team. Just a short pause. Um, it should be over hopefully soon. Red teams, um, <coughs> they definitely have a possibility to come back into this game. They just need to look for those picks. Using that Malzahar ultimate and having Zac, uh either zone or be the initiation tool for his team. They just need to be careful of that CC that uh, Jarvan and Valkaz can, that can really put down their zone control to be very strong in these fights. As well as having that Varus who's going to be able to lock down your team fight if you stay too close to each other. And we see just def decent tra damage being traded back, pushing those waves out as hard as you can. Braum clearing of the wards in his jungle, making sure that they're safe to move up and they're not going to get teleported down. And the mid lane being the only turret left right now for red side in the frontier one. And uh, Zach going in with the flash ultimate here. We see all the damage coming over here. This is a beautiful initiation. But it looks like Saints Gaming is getting their carries, uh, is getting their support here first and actually we see right there Valkaz being able to flash over that wall staying alive Varus using his ultimate trying to lock them down but just not being able to do enough the five man collapse coming in for the red team a lot faster Valkaz just whipping out a lot of damage right there though with his uh, combos and just oh Tristana not being able to do enough damage right there because of that exhaust on top of her Zach also going down right now into his passive almost being able to come back up but unfortunately 8x Snipe right there coming in really strong just dropping Zach right before he's able to get up. And just blue team there coming in 
right before Red Team could really get any advantage and just turning that fight around. And they're still just going for the dies right now, having no trouble picking up that turn around and try. Urgot already 4 0 2, being able to take over this game with a 30 CS lead over top. Just doing a lot of damage and controlling these fights. Definitely the strength of Saints Gaming right now in this game with Valkaz and Varus being able to also do quite a bit of damage. And we see the gold lead has already been extended to 6k at 17 minutes into the game. Uh, Malzahar had a really good ultimate right there in that last fight, especially with his flash. But unfortunately, Valkaz, with both his summoners up, was barely able to escape that. Zach um, and the team just not being able to help with enough of that damage. And because of that, they're going to really be struggling to look for picks in these next few ones. That puts them behind from losing that fight. And we see Saints Gaming right here grabbing over the Scuttle Crab. Or the Rift Herald, my bad. Um, being able to grab that buff, and that's almost another guaranteed turret that's going to be able to go over to Saints Gaming. And we actually see that the jungler for Saints Gaming right here is taking the blue buff away from As Asura in the mid lane. And there we go, the Tristana giving a few seconds on bot lane, using that explosive charge, taking down that turret with only a few seconds, um, bringing that gold lead a little bit over, um, but still a bit behind Zach right here just going on. We actually see a bit of an EXP difference too across the board. Jungle up a level and the bot lane both up a level over their opponents. Um, this is going to play a role in further into the game if they're unable to find anything if they slowly get kind of pulled out of the game. We actually see one of the CS leads to Mazahar actually having a CS lead over Velkaz this game where the rest of his team is falling a little bit behind because of the pressure that Saints Gaming is kind of applying over the map right now with their gold advantage. And Urgot right here just posturing to see if he can get Tristana in the 1v1 situation. Not noticing that Braum's coming but not in any danger right now as uh, they give the blue buff over to Varus this time around so just a lot of poke coming out from uh, the bot lane uh, the AD Harry and the mid lane of Saints Gaming and right here just using that Rift Herald right now to try to get them in and a huge ultimate from Valka is coming in Zoning five members and then just having various ultimate lock down the fight, allowing him to target one person because they couldn't run away. Valkaz and Varys just doing tons of poke, coming down onto this mid turret right now, uh, destroying it. Already at half health, and the red team doesn't seem any way to be able to respond. They're actually going in for the fight right now, trying to lock down the bot lane. Everyone just running around trying to fight, and they're just taking the turret, um, taking the inhibitor. It looks like they're going to go back. Urgot staying top lane, getting that turret for himself, and it looks like they're actually going to go top and see if they can push down another turret in the uh, still 5v4 situation with Braum going down in the last, last push. Having um, Urgot full health right here is going to be a big advantage, though. And there they go. Able to get that top turret and the inhibitor down in that single push at 20 minutes. Um, a huge gold lead now of 10k opening up for Saints Gaming right now. The game's completely under the control and there's to throw. And we actually see Ape not being able to get away right here, um, having to flash to get away and them giving up the chase, just barely living right there. Mezahar not having his ultimate in Tristana, not being able to commit from the range she was at with her rocket jump, not being in her close enough. Zach actually looking though to get Valkaz and jumps in on him and pulls him back so that everybody can jump on him. Once again, he flashes. Uh, Alistair right here on the side though doesn't look like he's going to be okay just zoning everyone away, keeping the carries alive for Saints Gaming, sacrificing himself for his friends right there um, that's what a true support does in these games just sacrifices himself <laughs> and we see our guy here just splitting the bot lane it'd be really 
um, common to see blue team right here uh, either push top or uh, clear vision around Baron and then even go for it. They're just having so much trouble right now clearing these super minions at 20 minutes that they need to either fight them when they go for Baron or they just need to let them get in. And I don't think either option is really a good option right now. And forcing them into that is going to be a really good choice for Saints Gaming. Especially with the Young Falcon right here. Versing off against uh, Trundle. Trundle's not going to have much of an opportunity to fight. Unless that ultimate's coming down as we've seen right now. Just being able to kind of zone away. But now with that ultimate down. He's not going to have the strength to fight against them. And we actually see that they're going for the Baron. He drew three, pe three people by. Still sees Tristana um, recalling. And nobody's going to get over here in time to even stop this Baron attempt. We see Dragon just keep, uh, taking a whole bunch of damage. Uh, but no real threat. Zach uh, running in here. But the health of Baron already down. Miss smite. smite uh, but the damage still going over by Varus. No real threat from the red team right now. We're most likely just going to see Satan's Gaming right now try to slowly push in both side lanes, um, get these turrets, get the inhibitors, see what they can do. Right now, we have a 2v1 in the bot lane, Trundle not actually coming in, and just Urgot being able to deal so much damage and draw so much pressure to the bot lane. And a huge ultimate from Urgot right there, taking Zac down at already 20% health, just being able to do a ton of damage. Not letting him come back up. Burning that passive. Nobody's stopping Urgot in the bot lane. It's 4v4 in the top lane right now. No real engage other than... Oh, and the ultimate coming out for Ivaris. But getting absorbed by Malzahar's shield. Uh, no real threat. The poke from uh, the mid lane there is already pushing them off. Forcing Malzahar to flash or die. Urgot going B. Grabbing some health. And they're already pushing in these last two turrets. And they're just pushing down the last turret, using the teleport to come in here. Um, they're taking down that third inhibitor already at 23, 24 minutes with a 13k gold lead going over to Saints Gaming. They're looking to end the game right here, taking, trying to poke down the first turret, bringing in the minions, um, all Baron buffed up. Minions are starting to flood the base right now with uh, the Baron buff already applied to them. Uh, the damage, uh, the turrets are already starting to fall below half, and it looks like they need to make a play before this game ends. Zach trying to go in, but getting stopped um, by some CC from Valkos, and just damage coming out. Brom getting good ultimate, slowing down everyone, but the poke is just too much for the back line of the red team. They're just not able to stay into the fight. Zach trying to re engage here, getting a huge three man knock up, but him and Trundle just instantly fall into the huge advantage that blue team has this game. And there we go, game one. Saints Gaming win, winning game one of this best of three in week five of C League of Legends. We'll be right back in a few minutes. <laughs> 